Extra, quick, flick it on. Flicker Fest on Extra is in full swing on Channel 417 of Your Movie Network. And we're halfway into the only TV show that takes you right inside Australia's most important short film festival, Flicker Fest, which has its traditional home right here at beautiful Bondi Beach. There's lots in this next episode, like two juries toughing it out to choose one best film. But first, a word from the hot, yet at the same time cool, host of the show. Hi, I'm Damien Walsh Howling. Full screen, 14 astounding short films by Australian directors. We'll have interviews with actors Deborah Lee Furness and Kerry Armstrong. Oh, for God's sake, give her the role! As well as chats with Academy Award nominated director Bruce Beresford. And I said, well, she's got the main role. And they said, yes, but you can take her out. They said, just go through the cut and take her out. I said, well, it'll make nonsense of the film. We've got Kirsten Dunst and Kate Hudson talking about the joys of directing. I just hope that um, I evoked an atmosphere that uh, will keep people tense. And, and we've got an insider's look at the judging of an Academy-accredited short film festival, namely Flickerfest. I think it's a very difficult art to create a really good short film. The judging is already a hotbed of controversy and it's not getting any easier because what's a great short film to one person can be a bit meh to another. Sometimes it's tough for judges to voice their opinions and still respect each other in the morning. I'm going to be doing big crosses and I'm going to be quite harsh. Let's get me. Let's start slashing some films yeah. out. <laughs> I, don't want to have I really like the story. Yeah. You don't? It was so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. They become like a little family, I think. I mean, hanging out with, you know, three other people for the whole week, going to sessions together, chatting together, going through films together. I think they've all got to know each other intimately. I was a big fan of um, six, um, six dollar fifty now. Yeah, I was too. It's really nice to have a young jury, you know, to have a, a group of young people in the film industry who are all really much at the, you know, emerging parts of their careers. So I guess, I mean, we don't have to actually make a decision now, but I guess no. we should... So why don't, don't you... Tell him what you did to his car, though. You're lying. What? You're lying. So who'd make a mini-movie like this? When you see Flickerfest on Extra, you'll meet the filmmakers and find out how an award-winning short film can be inspired by a pimple. This film is based on the idea of a woman who can sculpt a picture like clay um, to any shape she desires. When you tune into Flickr Fest on Extra, you'll get to meet the people who got inspired by a pimple, then ended up with that award-winning short film. See, that's the kind of information you can only get by watching this show. OK, now the second film you'll see in this ep is by a guy who will be Australia's next big thing. You'll get to see what gave him his big break. Recognise that dude? Yep, it's internationally acclaimed Aussie actor Joel Edgerton in Crossbow. These things never last longer than a few seconds. Crossbow is an edgy thriller, and yes, it does have a crossbow in it. I saw the kid see something in that cop that he wanted. It's worth seeing how this film turns out because the guy who made it, David Michaud, used it and all the awards it got to get a feature film off the ground. It's called Animal Kingdom, and from what I've seen, it's going to be awesome. I got to do it. I got to make Animal Kingdom, and, and for that reason, Crossbow will always be a, a very special film to me. You can find out the secret to David's success and much, much more when you tune into this exclusive episode. Just flick your remote onto channel 417 and get into Flickerfest on Extra. There's even more for you to get amongst online at flickerfestonextra.com.au. The Fab Fourth Ep gets a run from 10.30 Friday night, May 7. And it really is freaking flicktastic. Flickerfest on Extra, quick, flick it on. 
plenty of people have been getting into Flickrfest on Extra and getting off on the great short films you can see there. Nearly all of them have won awards all around the world. And not only do we screen the films start to finish at your place, we also take you behind the scenes, beyond the velvet rope, and into the sometimes twisted genius minds of the people who made them. But first, I'd like you to meet the host of the show. Hi, I'm Damien Walsh Howling. We'll screen 14 astounding short films by Australian directors. We'll have interviews with actors Deborah Lee Furness and Kerry Armstrong. Oh, for God's sake, give her the role! As well as chats with Academy Award nominated director Bruce Beresford. And I said, but well, she's got the main role. And they said, yes, but you can take her out. They said, just go through the cut and take her out. I said, well, it'll make nonsense of the film. We've got Kirsten Dunst and Kate Hudson talking about the joys of directing. I just hope that um, I evoked an atmosphere that uh, will keep people tense. And, and we've got an insider's look at the judging of an Academy accredited short film festival, namely Flickrfest. I think it's a very difficult art to create a really good short film. Before we get into the films you'll see, did you know that Flickrfest is the only short film festival in Australia that can qualify a film for Oscar selection? It's true. OK, well now, if you've ever made a phone call, then been put on hold, you'll know it can drive you crazy. And in this next funny film called Hold Please, Lisa Hensley goes well and truly totally nuts. What name, please? Suicide Crisis Line. Answering yes or no, did you request Seaside Cruise Line? This is the story oh, of a woman who wants to kill no, herself, but so being put on hold... Thank you, please hold. ...turns her suicide oh. attempt into attempted oh. murder. I am unstable with a loaded gun. Does nobody care? To find out how Lisa's tense and intensely funny phone call turns out, you'll have to watch Flickrfest on Extra. And let me give you another reason to tune in, the multi-award winning Australian short called Jerry Can. What are you looking at, you little bitch? Nathan is bullied and has to make a big, life-changing decision. What about you, ho Want to do something? Like what? Blow something up. So what's all the fuss over Jerry Can? Well, it won some major awards, and I mean major, like an AFI, one at Sundance, and even one at the Cannes Film Festival. So what kind of Aussie pulls off a hat trick like this? I'm the director of Jerry Can. Uh, this film is uh, about bullying, uh, the rites of passage of a young man who ultimately has to stand up for himself or be victimised. This film uh, was inspired by my story of growing up in the country in Western Australia. You know, Julius Avery really is a filmmaking star on the rise and he reveals more about the moves he made to be the success he is, which is following in the footsteps of great Aussie directors like Jane Campion and Gregor Jordan. So how do you get to see this hell of a show? Just flick your remote onto Channel 417 and get into Flickrfest on Extra. There's even more for you to get amongst online at flickrfestonextra.com.au. The sixth episode gets a run 10.30 Friday night, May 21, and it's frickin' flicktastic.